With us tonight, and we begin with your 17 at Crime Watch and a major break in a case that we've been following for nearly two months now. 17's Raphael Stroud joins us with an update on the manhunt for Tyrone Johnson. Raphael. Tammy, with Johnson back in custody, both suspects in the murder of three year old Major Sutton are back in custody once again facing trial. 55 days on the run ended last night with a quick chase in East Bakersfield. Accused gang member Tyrone Johnson, charged with gunning down three-year-old Major Sutton in 2017, is back behind bars. And now he and co-defendant David Palms are back on track to be tried in the child's murder. BPD Sergeant Robert Pear says officers were watching a home before trying to stop Johnson at Height Street and River Boulevard. Officers were conducting surveillance of a residence associated with Mr. Johnson. Police say Johnson led officers on a chase down river before he crashed into a parked car near Jefferson Park. The people inside weren't hurt and Johnson was arrested with 23-year-old Bruce Davis. We rely on, in large part upon community interaction uh, to provide us information. Uh, investigators left no stone unturned. Johnson and his co-defendant David Palm sparked the search in April after breaking out of the Laredo Justice Facility. Now Sheriff Donnie Youngblood says Johnson is back where he belongs. Had we done our job and done it correctly, they could have been in a cardboard box and they wouldn't have got away. KCSO began a review of what went wrong at the facility. Court documents say Palms and Johnson got onto the roof and slid down a flagpole and that detention officers didn't realize the two left dummies in their bunk during an inmate check. This was a, a, a young child that lost his life who had done absolutely nothing wrong in this world, did not deserve this, and that grabs your heartstrings. And then when you get them, and they're waiting trial and they get away, it, it's really uh, um, difficult to accept that. So uh, we don't want that to happen again. Shafter police arrested Palms that same day. Now both are back behind bars. This time, not in the same cell. According to Sergeant Pear, so far no one else has been arrested or charged for helping Johnson while he was on the run, but the investigation is ongoing. And Sheriff Youngblood says the review of the prison even included speaking with the facility's builders to look at flaws, but in the end he says people just weren't doing their jobs and there are consequences when that happens. Johnson's due back in court tomorrow. In studio, I'm Raphael Stroud, 17 News. Time now, 502.